Right guys, welcome back. Hopefully you guys haven't missed this too much. It has been an awfully long time since I last played, I must admit. And ever so sorry about that. I've had a lot go on. Um, personal issues, uh, death in the family, uh, Dark Souls, yes I'm blaming Dark Souls. Work, uh, girlfriend, now ex-girlfriend, maybe, I don't know. There's There's a lot of crap going on. You know, personal life. One of them things. It's a pain in the arse. Trust me, people. Stay single. Be a gamer. Cut yourself off from the world. It's brilliant. Anyway. Also, at the time we're recording this, my internet's down. And I'm with Virgin Media. So, I'm trying to sort it out with them. But we'll see. Because, guess what? I get a robot. Don't you just love robots? Not that I really need that harp, hey ho. Right. I love her hair. Which I have been doing. But yes, this is the cafe with the door there. Then over here, and get into it. Oh yeah, it's after hours, which is just annoying. Anyway, down here. We. I want to go this way. Yeah. Let's go rescue the prince! Oh, that frickin' douche. Linky would have noticed immediately from her voice. That cat is awesome. I love that cat. Mm, clearly. Uh, excuse me. And I know there's no 3D textures upon some of these characters, but if you noticed on Prince Rallis, I'm pretty sure that was, um, what was it now? Zora Stone from Ocarina of Time. It might have been changed. I did only see it briefly. <gasps> Ooh, Kakariko! Too dangerous, is it? Awesome. Also, those are interesting spears because they have feet on them. And tell me sets her eye on us. Awesome. Is it that obvious? His face. I know he's not as expressive as Toon Link from Wind Waker, but 
you can still see the emotion on his face. Yes, it is Cesaro Stone, though more angular. Of course, Ilya would. She's always getting involved with species other than human, well, hydian. Also, I'm moving around an awful lot at the minute, guys, because I'm just checking internet connection and whatnot. Ah. Come on, you better work. Oh, that douche. Yes. I just love that we're doing reconnaissance at the minute. Oh, I've got a load of flashy lights, so let's hope when my internet comes back on. Yeah, yes. I'm gonna kick his ass again. And that's just a bizarre transition. It's douche. Oh, oh. Curses. Kakariko. It's proud like a beast. <sighs> I do like Thelma. She's one of the more fun characters I've ever experienced in a Zelda game. Now this just gets weird and annoying. Because I'm going to need that we got the bow set up. And I've only got three arrows. Well, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, because that's really going to stop me. Pretty sure the best way for me to do this Oh, fail again. I was trying to think, what? 
Get arrows, hell, what? said about getting the arrows. Slingshot obviously won't do anything, Jesus. Of course I charge straight into it. don't know what's with me at the minute guys. Then again, it has been forever since I last played this. Oh. Yeah, it's just really tight the mic. and forever since I played it and meh. I'm complaining and being a terrible gamer. Mm. Oh Jesus, I'm that low on health. And I've got no potions. And that's my new neighbour, I do believe. If you guys can hear it, that is. Sons of bitches. There we go. It's actually quite easy and simple, but this is where it's going to start becoming a little pain in the backside. No. Thank you. We're about halfway, roughly. No, 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 Thank you. All right, go on then, girls. Now, hopefully the music isn't causing a feedback loop. Ah, uh, yep. Interrupt again. I 
as powerful as bomb arrows are, I'm pretty sure they're discouraged in this. Come on, back on path, back on path. Thank you. to get through. What another second off the wall? Jesus. spirit I didn't actually see her die so you know She's lost her memory. Now it's a really annoying side quest, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, fine. Perfectly fine. New. Thank you. It was kind of written all over the sign of your bar. Mm. <laughs> Even Link knows. I do believe. Mm. <laughs> yeah, no, Link, she's um she's older than you, mate. And Spirit of the Muta.
<gasps> dun dun dun. Hey, thank you for saving my son. Right, and now I do believe he has to follow Gat. There we go. She's rather pretty. No, out of that camera mode. Come on. Oh, yeah, into the graveyard. Graveyard! Oh good, the pose haven't started showing up yet. I hate the pose. Ooh! Ooh! Hold on. Uh, hold on a minute, love. There we go. Yeah, yeah, thank you. No, open. Magical stone just vanishes. I think. Does it? Yeah. I thought you had to move it. Nope, just <laughs> ups and disappears. Woo! Now, this is an awesome little area. I do love it. Okay. Awesome. Still kind of weird, but nah. to grieve will do fish girl uh, the temple yes No shit, Sherlock. But I also need water bombs. And it should be that that one there is a direct access out. Should be. Yeah, it is. Of course it is.
I have no idea what this guy downstairs is banging at, driving up the wall. But anyway guys, I'm going to call it here, and hopefully next episode we'll go straight into the dungeon. And I'm going to, yeah, cut it here anyway, because I need to call Virgin again, and get on about my fucking internet, assholes. So yes, thanks again guys. Hopefully you'll join me for the next episode. Sorry again for it being so damn long since this. I've got to get back to replying to comments and some other stuff and trying to catch up with myself. So this is going to take some time. So, really sorry guys. And thanks again, and for now, take care.